Welcome back to another edition of Cover in the Film Room. Today I want to analyze how the Bills and Leslie Frazier use their safeties, Jordan Poyer and Micah Hyde. Both have been really crucial to this defense and the turnaround in the secondary. And in the first matchup against the Patriots, uh, those two actually played a, a rather big role in helping uh, slow down the Patriots, at least in the first half. And on this play, you'll see the two safeties and a split field coverage. Brady's looking to go deep to the top of the screen to Cooks. And you'll see that Hyde is reading him the entire way. As Cooks makes his double move and gets that corner turned around, Hyde has that corner's back, takes away that deep route. So Brady, you see Brady here, he has to go somewhere else. Holds on the ball a little too long with no one else open. Because Poyer's taken away, Gronkowski to the bottom of the screen down the seam, takes him away. There's no one open, and Brady takes a sack by Shaq Lawson. Now later in the game, the Bills had really good success in the red zone versus the Patriots. They shut them down twice in the red zone, and this is one of the plays, and both safeties play a really critical role here. You'll see to the bottom of the screen is Hyde, and he basically ends up being matched up with uh, Gronkowski here. And see the route he runs is just a, a corner to the end zone. Uh, so that's pretty much taken away. But Brady's looking to expose Ramon Humber and Jordan Poyer to the top of the screen with their running back, James White. And it's really nice because they motion him in and stack him. And you're going to see Poyer and Humber are basically running an in and out coverage, a bracket coverage on White. The Bills are going to match up man on man. Trey White versus the receiver there. And depending on what route that running back runs, it'll determine what defender covers him. So you'll see both of them staring down the running back here. As he hits the top of the route, Poyer reads it perfectly. White breaks outside. He takes that away. So Brady has nowhere to go there. He looks across the middle to Amendola, but is really good coverage there too because you can see Preston Brown walling off Amendola drives him back a couple yards allows Johnson to get up over the top and take that away and he was the next option there on this play so we'll take a look at it from the tight camera angle so you'll see post snap Brady's gonna work the boundary route concept looking to get the ball to the running back he's not there so now he's coming back across the middle which Looks pretty wide open, right? There's a lot of grass there. But Brown's disruption of Amendola sets him back a couple yards. And then Johnson's able to take take him over the top. And Kyle Williams just does a great job of hustling. Arm over move to bring Brady down for the sack. You'll see here, again, empty set. You have a too high look pre-snap, right? But watch the movement of outside linebacker. Ramon Humber. Watch his movement pre to post snap. Doesn't look like he's in man coverage versus Danny Amendola, which is a good thing. You don't want that receiver matched up versus Humber. So as soon as the ball is snapped, you see Humber jump to the middle of the field as the Bills drop into cover three sky. And cover three sky is cover three look with this safety dropping down, having that flats area if any threats show. So you see Hyde drop down. And the Bills have a single high set. And it confuses Brady because Brady wants Amendola across the middle. Because in prior weeks when the Bills saw empty sets, 3 by 2 sets, they ran their quarters coverage. And typically that would mean that Humber would have any short in or out route by this slot receiver. So if he ran up here to linebacker level, ran an out route, Humber would have him. If he ran an in route here, Humber would have him. But this play is taken away because of the inside leverage that Humber can play with because he's not going to be chasing this receiver. He can play that inside leverage, play it soft, and as that linebacker sits, Amendola is going to pivot back outside because it's, it's an option route, so he has that ability. Amendola is going to change it up and bounce back outside, but that's taken away by Micah Hyde, who dropped down into the flats area in the cover three sky look. So now watch the movement pre-snap. All right, look at where Hyde is. He's way outside this hash. All right, he's off the screen. Look at Poyer to the right-hand side of the screen. 
That should tell Brady a little bit about the coverage he's about to see. Poyer doesn't just drop to the center of the field. He stays on that hash with the ball on the left hash. That's smart. That's good zone spacing. It's disciplined football. Now watch Humber's movement. You see him inside. You see him outside. Then right as the ball is snapped, he's getting to the middle of the field. Brady's finding him. Looking at his receiver. Wants to pull the trigger, but doesn't and ends up taking the sack. All right, so we'll fast forward to the end of the first half. Bills are down three points. Minute 42 left in the half. Second down and eight. And the Patriots come out in a three-by-one set with the receiver in the backfield, motion them out to the slot to an empty set. Bills defense adjusts and eventually settles in with a too-high safety look. But post-snap change of picture, and this is what Belichick's talking about. The Bills' two safeties are really good at disguising the coverages because as a quarterback, the first thing that you look at when you get to the line of scrimmage are the safeties. And are they? is there a single high or two high look? Because that usually determines what kind of coverage you're going to see post-snap. Bills change it post-snap. They run cover three buzz where high drops down into the middle of the field, which is why McDermott was brought here. He really defends the middle of the field well with his coverages. And in order to do that, he's got to have good safeties. And he's got a great pairing here. Hyde drops down to the middle of the field, which allows Leonard Johnson. Watch Leonard Johnson right here in the slot who's matched up versus Amendola. He's able to play outside leverage here. He's able to play the outside half because he has his safety coming down to rob the middle of the field. So he can play the outer half of that receiver. So as this receiver makes that little pivot route inside, he can stay outside knowing that if, in fact, that receiver to continue across the middle that his safety and his help will rally so he stays outside and Brady really has nowhere to throw it and then throws it into the dirt but watch Brady's helmet here where his eyes are looking pre to post snap now the Bills settle into their too high look post snap he immediately finds Micah Hyde All right, you see him look that way and then you're going to see him look to the other safety. He's trying to see if any of these guys are going to rotate to the middle of the field, maybe into a single high set. And I'll go back. So now he's zoning in on this receiver here to the left-hand side of the screen. High drives down and into the box. He takes away the middle of the field. Brady has really nowhere to throw it. He feels some pressure coming off the edge from Jerry Hughes. And ends up just throwing it into the dirt and moving on to the next place. And this concept's been used week in and week out. And again, you're going to see it a lot. We saw it against the Chiefs just a few weeks ago. Bills are in a 3-3-5 set. Three down linemen. The extra pass rusher is Lorenzo Alexander. And you're going to see the Chiefs come out in a 21 set. They're going to have two running backs in the backfield. They're going to motion Travis Kelsey into the slot. Something also the Patriots did. But this time... The Bills are going to drop into their, you know, cover three buzz look. But this time, it's going to be Jordan Poyer to the bottom of the screen. Now, watch their movement. I mean, these safeties aren't aren't giving really anything away. Is Poyer dropping deep? I mean, you see right before the snap, he's, he's backpedaling. He's slowly backpedaling. So, prior to the snap, Alex Smith looking at him, he's seeing Jordan Poyer slowly creep back. So, that pre-snap picture is showing too high look. But of course, that picture is changed immediately after the snap. Slowly drops down into the hole. And this is important because you'll see Travis Kelsey come wide open on that deep post route right here. But Poyer did such a good job with his spacing, knowing where the sticks were, and using his own eyes. He robs that route by Kelsey. And of course, Kelsey is the Chiefs' number one target. I mean, this is just really good defense. Really good robber technique from Jordan Poyer. You see him open his hips to Kelsey. And if, if Smith throws this at any point, it's going to be intercepted. Instead, he doesn't. He tries extending the play. It's really good containment from the defense. And the Bills end up getting a sack here. So this robber technique is really one of the core concepts of Sean McDermott and Leslie Frazier's defense. And when you have two safeties in Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer, 
who are very good at disguising it, have the athletic ability to get deep if they need to. It just makes things so much easier on the defense coverage-wise, but it makes it a lot more difficult on a quarterback from pre to post snap. Changing that picture against any quarterback in the NFL is the key to stopping the passing game. You're going to see a lot of these robber concepts by Michael Hyde and Jordan Poyer, especially this week, trying to take away the middle of the field, trying to take away Gronkowski over the middle. And we'll fast forward to the third quarter with two minutes and 51 seconds left in the quarter, second down and 10, ball on the 33-yard line. Patriots again come out in an empty set. Bills show their normal quarter coverage. Again, they like to play quarters coverage against this empty set look. All right. But post snap, they change that, that picture. You'll see the field safety backpedal as the ball snap. And you're going to see Micah Hyde slowly creep to the middle of the field in this cover three buzz look. Brady's trying to take advantage of this matchup to the middle of the field between Preston Brown and Danny Amendola. He believes he has him isolated and that Amendola can win to the middle of the field, and he can. That's a good matchup in their favor, especially if the ball is thrown on time, which it always is, thrown on the break. But what Brady doesn't see is Micah Hyde creeping down into the box as that robber. And this is something we haven't had in a long time. Safeties that are good tacklers, that can protect the middle of the field, that can cover the middle of the field, cover guys coming across the middle on those drag routes, on those in-breaking routes. But guys that can set the tone. He doesn't just wrap them up here. He lays a big lick on them. And that's something that really energizes the defense. So having these two safeties deep and playing these robber roles really helps a lot versus the New England Patriots.